Hi guys, it's Robin and Charles here. We're at Epcot today for Food and Wine Festival. So I want you to come along with us and we'll show you what we get and some of our festival favorites around the world. So join us. We'll see you in a minute. Food and Wine is an annual festival held at Epcot every year from July to November. It's a good chance for you to taste culinary delicacies from across the globe. Simply take a tour around World Showcase to see what you can find. First up on our food and wine journey, we are here in the Canada Pavilion, and we are going to try the filet with mushrooms and potatoes. Also, also in the Canadian Pavilion, we have the cheddar cheese soup with the pretzel roll. All right, friends. We're here and we've got some bacon cheddar soup, cheddar cheese soup from Canada. Charles. Is it good? No, you don't want any of it. It's really bad. Let me try some. No, no, you don't, you don't want to drink it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's delish. It's 90 degrees out here. And We're eating I soup. Still want soup. All right, now, pretzel bread, do a little dunkaroo. Mm -hmm. Okay, dunkaroo is good. I don't even care if it's 90 degrees. Mm. Very, very good. Uh huh. All right, so that one's a good option. Now we've got a little mini steak with mushrooms and some potatoes. I don't really care for mushrooms. Okay. Right off. It's pretty, pretty tender. To, to cut at least. Piece of steak by itself. Good. Very tender. Very good flavor. Yeah. I mean, I could look on yeah, there. Sure. We've had Lucilia before. I think this was maybe a little bit better than mm, we had Okay. There. Is here also in Canada, but it's very it is. It's one of your higher end steak houses. I prefer the steak at Brown Derby to Le Cellier, but this is pretty. But good. this is pretty good. All right, now let's see. Let's try a little bit of mashed potatoes. Mmm, really garlicky, really garlicky. Um, I love mushrooms, so. Mm. Those are excellent little cooked mushrooms. Now, let's do the trifecta. Oh, that's the way to go. Well, I haven't had the All three of them at once. The potatoes yet, so let me try those. Let me scoop this back out of the way. Delicious, guys. All right, so steak or the soup? Soup. Soup is better. Is but they're both delicious. Yep, they're I actually good. like the mushrooms. Mm. I actually like the pretzels in the soup. <laughs> Even though, like I said, it's, uh, it's 90 degrees out here. I didn't think it was going to be cold, but it's getting a little cold. 
Wash it down with a little <coughs> Diet Coke. <coughs> yeah. No, I'm just scooting back for y'all. Oh, no, I'm we're sorry. Okay. No, you're fine. <laughs> I didn't realize I was so encroached. Oh, you're good. You're good. Mm-hmm. What'd you do, the money? The the, the, the beef dipped in the soup? <laughs> How did I know? Okay. All right. Steak dipped in the soup. Okay. <laughs> I see you. Yeah. That's, that, that's good right there. That'll work. All right, guys. So far? First stop. Do for do. First stop, and it's a win. Mm-hmm. All right, friends, now we have stopped at the Ireland booth and we've gotten some kind of warm chocolate cake with Bailey's Irish cream on top. Um, I don't know. It looks <laughs> sinful and delectable and yeah, we're going to eat it. So um, yeah, I'm going to turn you around and let Charles eat it first. Yep. I got it last year. Very dense. Very dense. Very get some moist. get some cream, Charles. Very moist. Very dense. <laughs> Not overly sweet. Very moist. Moist. Very moist. How's the the cream on top? It's delicious, and it goes really well with bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> I love the bubbles. It is really really good. We'll take one more bite. <laughs> you like it? I do. Okay, it's my turn. It cuts almost like, I don't know, like the warm chocolate melting cake on the cruise ship. Very much so. Very good. Okay. I can definitely taste the Bailey's little twing in the cream, but it's not overpowering. The cake itself is really dense, very moist, like he said. Also, it's really rich. It's heavy, but it's not overly sweet. But it's not overly sweet, but it is definitely heavy. Um, but yeah, the sweetness doesn't really cut through, but it's just a very dense cake. So it sits really heavy when you take that bite. So, it's good. It's not as good as the cheddar cheese soup or the filet, but I don't know. I really like it's it. It's decent. I, I give it a, uh, I give it a six out of ten. No, good for you. I give it more like a three. I like it, so I will eat it. Here goes Mary Poppins.
guys. We're currently in the France Pavilion and we've gotten some yummy goodness to try. <laughs> Go ahead and give it a twirl there. <laughs> it's a slush with vodka and some cranberry sauce and some Grand Marnier. Mm. He said it was, uh, so. I don't know what it's called. Woo! Okay, that's refreshing. Okay. Bye, Charles. Hey, come back here. <laughs> That's delicious. It should be. It was $15. <laughs> All right. Charles got creme brulee. I'm going to deter that over to him. Anybody who knows anything about me knows he loves creme brulee. So go ahead and... Uh, Give it, oh, it's got a good caramelized top to it's it. It's got some kind of strawberry. Yeah, good stuff. The creme brulee is one of my favorite desserts anyway. It is. He loves creme brulee. It's got some kind of strawberry puree on the bottom. How does that do? Does that mm. add it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'm just not a custard person. But for the sake of science... Mm. It's just not for me, dog. It's just not my cup of tea. Well, you have that, and I'll have these two, and we'll be done. I have the beignet, which inside full of is full of yummy, cheesy goodness. So, cheers. And we are about to get a storm. Mm -hmm. It's not... How the wind is blowing. It's that the wind is blowing. <laughs> ah! Hold on to your food. It's uh, mm. about to come down. Yeah, there's a storm coming. We have a reservation for a ride that's indoors here in a minute. A couple more of these, I won't care. Oh my gosh. That, that is. Mm. 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 Okay, that's pretty good too. Bread and cheese. How can you go wrong? But this. That's the best thing. This might be the star of the show. It's definitely the star of this show. Mm. Okay, that's so good. It's definitely the star of this show. Mm. That is delicious. Guys, I think France is a must stop. <laughs> We lady in the tramp to a piece of bread. Yeah, but that was Italy. We're in France. I know. Too bad. <laughs> but definitely the way to go. So many good options. There was a braised beef option. That looked good. But we just have to pick and choose because we can't get everything. But Food and wine is amazing. Yes, we lo absolutely love coming down here. It's the best festival by far. So I'm going to continue filling my face, as is Charles. And we'll see you on our next adventure. <laughs>
It starts out really bad, but it does get better the more you chew. The more you chewed it, it got better. Okay. I did, right. not, I did not like it at first. Now I kind of like it. Yeah. Sorry. I got to scoot this table because I'm about to fall over. Okay. Now this. Can you go wrong with bread and cheese? I mean, that's been kind of the theme today. Hmm. This is interesting. Yeah. yeah, the pork belly at first I did not care for, but the more I'm chewing it, I actually really like it. What's that, like a bean concoction that's with it? Yeah, it's black beans and rice. Robin doesn't care for beans. I, I, I was good. I took a bite. I don't like pintos by themselves. Oh, that's that's just weird. I can eat refried beans. I can eat other beans. Okay, this... Not for you. It's a weird texture. The cheese taste is good, but the texture is weird because it's more like a... Looks very gel funny. and I don't know, it's very odd. The taste is good, but the way you chew and the way it feels in my mouth, I didn't like it. I don't care for it. It's like you're eating rubber. Yeah, it's very um very chewy. Rubber. So yeah, this one's uh I give the pork I give the pork about four stars. Once I chew it for a long time. Four out of ten. Yeah, four out of ten. And more cheese. The cheese, I'm going to give it like a two. Yeah. And that's unlike me because I like cheese. No, I agree. Four and two sounds about right. The water, water. however, I give it a solid ten. Out of 10. 10. <laughs> solid ten. Yeah, we've um, ran into a little rain shower, so it's kind of cooled things off. But I'm not even going to be finishing this. No. I'm going to try some of the rice. Oh, the rice is the best part. I don't even like the, the beans and the pesto. Or pesto -y. It's not even a pesto. No, no but this whole, whole thing here. Uh, Looks like fat. Yeah. But it's not. Um. Yeah, so the whole Brazil is a 4 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm done here. It's just all right, dog. I think I'm done. And this, friends, is what not to do when recording a video. Yeah, that's me. I forgot to turn on my microphone during this whole segment. So I'm going to be voicing over what we got here in Belgium. This is the beer braised beef served with Gouda mashed potatoes. And here you see Charles giving it a taste first. And this dish was very, very good. Um, the beef was super, super tender. And the mashed potatoes were so cheesy. Um, yeah, we could have easily eaten one of these a piece. But uh, yeah, we definitely... We're splitting everything here because we wanted to try as many things as we could around World Showcase. But yes, this was one of the better things we had all day. Especially, it's next door to Brazil. And you saw just before this, the uh, disappointment we had in the food from Brazil. But uh, yes, this beer braised beef definitely is a plus in our book so if you choose to go to food and wine please do not skip out on belgium you will not be disappointed there are two belgian waffles here also that they serve that we did not try on this trip um but they looked very good too there's one with a chocolate ganache and a berry compote also so we're gonna sit here and watch me eat this oh charles took a bite hey give me some more <laughs> I think he just said much better than Brazil. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Yeah. It's hard to say. I could do a bad lip reading a voiceover. That could be fun. Here we go. <laughs> hey, have you been married 20 years if you don't feed each other? You know, come on. All right, guys, that's been this part of the video and we'll go to the next part.
Well, would you look at that? Somebody is getting fired. Two videos in a row. No sound. Yeah, your neighborhood Robin forgot to turn on her mic again. But here we are in the Grease Pavilion and we are trying some griddled cheese. This comes with the pistachios and honey. And it is just a big hunk of Greek cheese that has been um, just kind of fried and toasted on like a griddle. Um, and this, my friends, was absolutely delicious. I don't know exactly what type of cheese this is. I know it's some kind of cheese that is native to Greece, but this was out of this world. It was probably the second best thing I ate all day. Um, if you think about at home, if you're making some kind of cheesy dish or if you're trying to fry up a grilled cheese or make a cheese quesadilla or even if you get something out in a restaurant somewhere and like you have little bits of like burnt or charred cheese on the edges this is similar to that only elevated by about a million um the honey adds just enough little like sweetness on the the side and these pistachios are you know the perfect kind of crunch and saltiness and the cheese has already kind of got a salty component too but um here charles is a little skeptical he didn't know what to think about it because he was like i he doesn't really like trying weird kinds of food or different kinds of food but as you can see on his face he's like that is so good <laughs> it's like that is so cheesy and so delicious um so yeah, I don't know. I can't say enough good things about this. This was a must stop for me and it will be on my best of the fest for sure. Um, if you are going to Epcot for food and wine before the end of the season is up, I highly suggest that you try this griddle cheese. It's in the grease booth. Um, so yeah, it's kind of past Morocco um, before you get to Japan. Um, yeah definitely a must do if you don't like pistachios you can get it without it but i think you just go in and go for it all because the complete bite is what does it for me and yeah we ended up finishing this entire piece of cheese together and it was delicious so sorry about all of these technical difficulties but hey that's what happens when you're recording on the fly. <laughs> so, guys, I think we've got Japan coming up next. So, uh, that should be interesting. Oh, we look at there. Another video without sound. Woo. This technical person's getting fired. I don't know what we're going to do with her. But anyway. <laughs> This one's a little bit better, guys. Here in about a couple of seconds, there will be um, voice because I quickly realize, and well, actually, Charles realizes that my mic is not on. So this whole time, we've just been sitting around talking to a camera that can't pick up anything I'm saying. But we are in the Japan Pavilion now, and we are trying Wagyu beef. I've never had Wagyu beef, so let me know if you've tried it before. But this is an inexpensive way to get a taste of it because it's normally a grade A expensive piece of meat. It is traditional Japanese rice bowl with American Wagyu beef over steamed rice. So it was interesting. It wasn't at all what I expected. And um, I'm going to get into it here in a minute. So I'll just let you hear what we have to say. Also with my microphone. It wasn't what I was expecting. There's some sweetness to it. You feel some sweetness in there? There is like a little teriyaki almost. Yeah, teriyaki is very sweet. Like a honey teriyaki type. It's good. It's very good. Just not what I was expecting. It's got some other stuff in there too, the green onions, and I don't know what this is over here. like a jalapeno. Looks like an okra. Okra, okay. And then uh -huh. this stuff, which looks like ginger. Maybe. 
saffron, and then this egg. Okay, I'm gonna be the guinea pig for the egg. Robin's scared of the egg. The egg is, I don't know. What is? What exactly is this egg that I'm eating? I don't know. Let's revert back to my booklet. All right, this is a little mini egg. It is Japanese rice bowl with American Wagyu beef over steamed rice. It doesn't say anything about the egg. Egg's fine. Okay. It's got like a little garlicky. Yeah. It's, For science. It's take it or leave it. It's fine. It's decent. I mean, it's. I could I could take or leave the egg either one. It wouldn't be a deal breaker one way or the other. No. Definitely interesting. Well, the beef is good. Beef is very tender. But yeah, I don't know what I expected. I expected it to be like punch in your face of flavors. It's pretty good though. I mean. Mm -hmm. I give it a six and a half. Six and a half, seven sounds about right. Yeah. All right. On to the next one. We're in the Germany Pavilion, and this is the Schnoodlin. I cannot say it, but that's no close idea. enough. It's a it pasta, cheese, onion, and ham dish. Let's give it a try. Okay, guys, here goes my Noodlin. I thought, uh -uh. $500 GoPro Hero. Yeah. I didn't even bring it. I didn't even use it. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day, buddy. Bye. 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 Potato casserole thing, but it's noodles and lots more cheese, and it's better. I'm scared. So let's give Charles a taste. I'm, I'm not a big. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. I was worried it was gonna be more oniony than it is. It's no. You Somebody can. got proposed to! Oh my goodness! Oh, by sin or uh, Snow White's wishing well. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> this is very solid. Very good. I'm sorry, someone just got proposed to. So that kind of takes precedent, and I'm going to get all teary out because. That's what Disney does to me, is make me cry, so. Oh, that's so sweet. I proposed to you. In a car. <laughs> Fine, right. I take it back. <laughs> he takes it back. 20 a plus, years guys. ago. <laughs> I'd give this a solid eight. For me. He's not as big of a fan of it as I am, but. Seven. Okay. It's still good. On to the next one. All right, so Charles has got the Fiesta. I have no idea what you just did. Charles has got the Fiesta Margarita. It is a combination of strawberry, lime, and mango. Yeah, frozen margarita from Mexico. This is not a food and wine exclusive, but it's dang good. So I had to get it and it's hot. So definitely wanted to give it a whirl. Cheers. Hold back on the tequila. You know when they asked me if I wanted an extra shot? And you said no. Nope. I said no. Nope. Say I'm driving. good 
very tasty. Very alcoholic. <laughs> Now we are at the noodle exchange and we are going to try some Thai shrimp with mushrooms and noodles. Looks pretty tasty. All right, so we got noodles, mushrooms, and shrimp in this Thai sauce. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Good flavors. Spicy. Because it's Thai food. Shrimp is cooked really well. Shrimp tastes really good. The dish is not like temperature hot. Like spice wise it's hot, but it's not really hot. And the noodles are hard to eat because they're not like, how would you say, mushy? <laughs> is that a good word? They're not well done. They're not well done noodles, so they've got a little bite to them. And they unfortunately left tails. They left the, the tails shrimp. on the shrimp, so you had to pick off or eat the shrimp by themselves out of the soupiness. Which would be better if you could just eat yeah. the shrimp with the. So that is a little bit of downfall. We give it a five. Out, I give it a five out of ten because the flavors are good. But the it's shrimp, got like a shrimp is really good. Taste to it too. Pairing it with the, our Mexico margarita, it's pretty good. And that kicks it up a notch. It's almost got like a mango or something. Like it's fruity. definitely got a, a sweet back end. Like a fruity. I love the sauce. Five out of ten for but me. Yeah, five out of ten for me. It'd be better if they had cut the tails off. That's the biggest. On to the next one. Charles is feeling the margarita. I'm fine. He's fine. All right, here, have a slider. Don't mind if I do. I did get a lot more pork than you. Yeah. I want to see what he thinks. This is a lot of people's best of the fest, but we'll see what he thinks. Is it good? I would say that um, a lot of people are absolutely right. Absolutely. That is the best thing I've ate all day. And best thing you've ate all day. Okay, here goes mine. Yeah. That would be my um, my first 10 of the day. Oh, perfect 10. Oh, wow. Mm. The, the first 10 of your day. Mmm. Tender, little oh, spice, yeah. but not too much. Yeah, that mayo's got a little zing to it, but it's just the right amount. But not, not too much. Oh, my goodness. That's delicious? Yeah, not too much at all. Yeah, I'm giving that... I'm going to give it a 9.5. You're wrong. That, that's the first 10 of the day. Maybe the only 10 of the day, but that is... Oh, man, that's delicious. Now, if I had one of those drinks from France to go along with it, I'd be half gluten. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the drink definitely France is the, the mm -hmm. best of the day. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Kahlua got, pork slider. Got a little kick, but not over. 100%. Great. And we have some friends 
We do. We have some duck friends. Duck. They're looking around. They're like, please give me something to eat. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they, they want my pork slider. And they're not All right, guys. Them. We'll see what happens next. Next on our culinary treats, we have the mimosa flight. Mm. Mm. All right, friends, we're back. And this time we have a mimosa flight. So we're going to start out with the tropical mimosa, sparkling wine, minute made passion fruit, orange, and guava juice. Oh. Okay. Better than France? No, but it's still good. Mm. You're not a big orange person. You, yeah, that's not... Mm -mm. Right? Right? <laughs> Delish. That right there is a solid seven and a half. Yeah. All right. Next we have berry mimosa with berry fizz, sparkling wine, and white cranberry juice. I love cranberry juice. Okay. Here we go. This one's good too. Which one's better? Right off the tongue, this one. I like this one better, but I like cranberry better. I love cranberry. Mm. I like it. I can't decide which one's better. I mean, it's like a pinch above. If this one's 7.5, then for me, that one's like 7.75. I like them about the same, but they're both delicious. Yeah. All right, next is the blood orange mimosa, sparkling wine and blood orange juice. Okay. Cheers. My least favorite. So far, we're in agreement. We'll see. Complete agreement. The yeah. other two were seven and a half. This one's a five. A five. Yeah, I was going to say a five. It's still good. Yeah, it's still great, but it doesn't compare. Why don't I get rid of this so we don't have to sell it? <laughs> i got to get you back to the car somehow. <laughs> oh, God. Help me. If you can't beat them, join them. Cheers. Mm. Now the problem is, is that we have a half of one left to fight over. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in a minute. And we have the fry flight. Fry flight. Sea salt, malt vinegar. Barbecue bacon fries, sweet potato casserole fries. Yum, 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 get in my tongue. And then I have the pickle fries with a dill ranch on the side, or actually on top of it. Yum, yum, yum. Hi, guys. All right, so this one's the one Charles has been waiting on the most. It's the fry flight. So I'm going to let him dig in. First, he's going to go with just a regular sea salt. Sea salt vinegar. Good. That's like a French fry. Good quality fry though. Yeah, I mean it's the less of the fine fry. Alright. Bacon. And cheese, maybe. 
How's that one? That one is excellent. That is the barbecue bacon fry. And it is really mm. good. Smoked aioli. The sauce. Delicious. The sauce is amazing. Wow. And then probably what's going to be, I would guess, my favorite and Robin's least favorite. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potato casserole. Yep. Love it. Love don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Quality. Love them. Quality fries. This was one of the items I was looking forward to the most. Now, I got the pickles. I love the fried pickle. So we'll see how this. Quality fried pickles. No such thing. He's doing it for science, y'all. Tastes like a breaded slug. That's what it tastes like. Have you eaten many slugs in your day? That's what that would taste like. <laughs> You can have that nonsense. I tried it. I'm gonna pass. I'll stick with the fries. For me, it's sweet potato, bacon, regular, and deep fried slug. And that one. Guys, we have eaten our way around the world today. Woo. I'm about to have to uh, get about to have wheelbarrow. To wave the white flag. Only one thing left that she wanted to try, and that was the pickle milkshake. If it tastes like the deep fried slug, I can do without it. But for science, we'll go for it. If we make it that far. We've got about an hour and 45 minutes of park time left. A lot, we'll of, a lot of stuff we still want to accomplish. So we'll see. We've been here since so we're going to finish some of these fries. Go do some stuff. See and we'll be ever. back. That's all you. <laughs> it's gross. Pickle milkshake. It's not great. <laughs> no, it's disgusting. It's not horrible, but it does taste like some sort of cleaning solution. <laughs> the dill is very strong. Oh no, you got to drink it. Oh, oh, I will. All right, what else we got? That's the uh, other one. This is the other one. All right. I'm supposed to push this stuff down in here. That one's got to be better. It can't be worse. That one's better. It's really sweet. Stop it. But I will. Is mine on? Yeah, you're good. That one's fine. That one's just like an orange slush. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, okay. You get the pickle, I'll take this. <laughs> so, cheers. All right. <laughs> All right. This one I will not make my husband eat because I know he is completely averse to anything buffalo. So I'm not going to do that to him. But I got buffalo Brussels sprouts. Yes, I did. I like Brussels sprouts. I love some Brussels sprouts. So. Mm. Okay. Very good. How does it rank? A 
on my personal, it's about a seven. They're very, very good. I like a Brussels sprout with like a little char on the edge. So I'm missing that, but these are solid. Maybe a little big old milkshake to wash it down with. Yeah, Brussels sprouts are good. The pickle milkshake is every bit as bad as I said it would be. Pickle milkshake? Mm. It does not make the Brussels sprouts go down well. It's okay. Mm. They're going to keep eating. Mm. Mm. All right, guys. We'll be back in a little bit for your wrap up. Hey guys, so it's the end of the night, we're fixing to watch fireworks, and we're having a fun day. It's been a fun day to eat so much. I'm great. So much. Highly recommend that you come in for Food and Wine Festival. And stay away from the pickle milkshake. <laughs> it's amazing. The worst thing that we had was obviously the pickle milkshake, but we had to try it. So. Whole day was amazing. We ended on a down note. <laughs> we kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and we did it to the end and yeah it was just a bust but that's okay mm. for me my absolute favorite was the color pork slice you guys want to be in it <laughs> and, um, <laughs> we, we made new friends <laughs> we, we did we made some new friends they're on their honeymoon so i'm just gonna shout out to them real quick there's our friends they're on their honeymoon they're from virginia Hello. everybody say congratulations Hi. to these wonderful people yes we uh, look forward to keeping in touch with them. Yeah, it's, it's been a great time here. At so we're, we're going to enjoy some fireworks. Fireworks, and then head back to our resort. Probably the track. We've been here since it opened. It's been an amazing day, and we'll uh, have a rundown for you on our website of you know our best of the fest, what we tried, and maybe some some dishes and more of that stuff. Hey guys! Hello, how's everyone? Oh my gosh, what a day at Epcot. Well, we set out to do as much as we possibly could in one day, and I think we accomplished quite a bit. Um, yeah, we didn't get every single ride ridden, uh, but we met some characters, we sang along to Beauty and the Beast, and we ate and ate. And ate. and ate. And then we drank. And drank. And drank. And then we drank some more. And, and I drank, drank too much. Some more. Um, so it was a wonderfully successful trip to Epcot. You know, we only ended up missing three, maybe three rides. Three rides. But we, uh, we just really tried to enjoy the day, and I think we did. Yeah. We, we did get in a hurry, and we just took everything a little bit at a time. And, and we, we got, got September. And we got September twice. Twice. Oh, my gosh. I would go back and ride that ride right now. Guardians of the Galaxy. Unbelievable. Great. Best ride ever. Days but, like today, you guys, just remind me why I push to do everything that I do and why we push to Why do we work as hard as we do. Everything that we do. And, you know, we work hard so that we can have experiences like this. And more importantly than all, I got to spend it with the woman of my dreams. I'm going to cry. Because <laughs> I cry. I cried at mm. fireworks. I'll cry at everything. I just, yeah. So we had a wonderful time. And we're so glad mm. Very that much worth we it. could bring you guys along with us. So, so you know what? Let's end on a high note. And I'm going to end the night with mm. one of those. And some fireworks. And one of those. So here you go, friends. Love you. <laughs> One little spark of inspiration is at the heart of our creation.
in this game of becoming. It will never cease to be a living blueprint of the future. 